Your town has been host to a government conspiracy on the highest of levels. Let me tell you how they're going to cover it up. But I'm going to strip away this mystery and expose its private part. Can you need this? No. It's on the news. That means it's real. I know. Yes, I think they made a mistake. Um... Because if somebody is able to intimidate folks out of releasing a satirical movie, imagine what they start doing when they see a documentary that they don't like or news reports that they don't like. Um, or even worse, imagine if producers and distributors and others start engaging in self-censorship. Since our founding, the United States has been a nation that respects all faiths. Anyone? Anyone? If somebody is able to intimidate folks out of releasing a satirical movie. My name is Muhammad. It was called The Innocence of Muslims, a film that portrayed the prophet Muhammad as a philanderer and a thug. We've seen rage and violence directed at American embassies over an awful internet video that we had nothing to do with. It is hard for the American people to make sense of that because it is senseless and it is totally unacceptable. There was a, uh, a, a hateful video uh, that was disseminated uh, on the internet. The crude and disgusting video sparked outrage throughout the Muslim world. To us, to me personally, this video is disgusting and reprehensible. If somebody is able to intimidate folks out of releasing a satirical movie. Imagine if producers and distributors and others start engaging in self-censorship. Let me state very clearly, and I hope it is obvious, that the United States government had absolutely nothing to do with this video. We absolutely reject its content and message. The fact is, we had four dead Americans. Was it because of a protest, or was it because of guys out for a walk one night who decided they'd go kill some Americans? What difference at this point does it make? Because they don't want to offend the sensibilities uh, of somebody whose sensibilities probably need to be offended. Um, this is not official, but a source inside the hospital has confirmed. We are hearing from a source inside the hospital that the word from Northwestern Hospital is that the 43rd president, George W. Bush, is dead. Died. Died. Died a short while ago. Will intimidate folks out of releasing a satirical movie. The future must not belong to those who slander the prophet of Islam. Somebody whose sensibilities probably need to be offended. And even if we did have only Christians in our midst, if we expelled every non-Christian from the United States of America, whose Christianity would we teach in the schools? In every country, there are those who find different religious beliefs threatening. Which passages of scripture should guide our public policy? Should we go with uh, Leviticus, which uh, suggests slavery is okay? In every culture, those who love freedom for themselves must ask themselves uh, how much they're willing to tolerate freedom for others. And that eating uh, shellfish is an abomination. Now, I have made it clear that the United States government had nothing to do with this video. And I believe its message must be rejected by all who respect our common humanity. Or we could go uh, with uh, Deuteronomy, which suggests stoning your child if he strays from the faith. 
we are a country that has welcomed people of every race and every faith. Or should we just stick to the Sermon on the Mount, a passage that is so radical that it's doubtful that our own Defense Department would survive its application? We. Like me, the majority of Americans are Christian, and yet we do not ban blasphemy against our most sacred beliefs. Now, this is, is going to be difficult for some who believe in the inerrancy of the Bible. Like me, the majority of Americans are Christian. The future must not belong to those who slander the prophet of Islam. But it's fair to say that if any of us uh, leaving this church saw Abraham on the roof of a building, raising his knife, we would, at the very least, call the police and expect the Department of Children and Family Services to take Isaac away from Abraham. Yes, a crude and disgusting video called Innocence of Muslims was to blame for the attacks in Benghazi, except, of course, that it was not. About a month after the attacks, the State Department admitted that there were no protests in Libya over that anti-Muslim video at the concert. Do you think that the... Obama administration put you in danger by blaming the attack on you? No comment. Are you mad at Hillary Clinton for, for what she said about the movie? No comment. 